Uh, well, actually, I was traveling a lot um, the last couple of weekends, but right now I can finally settle. Like, I, I think I'm spending a couple of uh, next weekends um, at home. But, you know, Poland is great. Like, um, it, it's a bit chilly now, but we are having nice weather overall, and uh, it's going good. Just having fun playing Hearthstone, casting Hearthstone, hanging out. That's great, man. What's the next event you're going to after this? Um, so, I believe... I'm going to Gfinity in two weeks, or is it three weeks? Sweet. Cool. Right on, man. Are you going to see Dog or Sixo? Dog or Sixo at Gfinity? I'm not sure if the guys were announced, but I've seen Sixo many times at Gfinity, so hopefully he'll be there as, again. And, uh, well, Dog, you know, every time Dog is visiting Europe, we are having a lot of fun hanging out and just talking about decks. So hopefully, like, Dog is a great guy. And Dog yeah, versus six, sure. so Europe versus NA. Europe versus NA, indeed. Uh, but the thing is, you know, six O has recently kind of been struggling a little bit uh, online. But at the same time, I think it's not really impactful at all at Nvidia. You know, Nvidia is a tournament where I don't know if six O is necessarily putting his best tech out there. He's a guy that's really prided himself on being able to innovate some decks. And uh, right now, I think this is more of a testing ground and an experimental phase than actually like 6 0, you know, super tryharding at the moment. Uh, and he's been very vocal that he's like, yeah, I've been just messing around, seeing what works. Maybe these work in matches, maybe they don't. They're for the fans. Uh, and he's like, you know, why, why do Ghost of Gamer ranking points matter so much here in these matches? He was pretty chapped about that, I remember. By the way, both players, they brought Shaman. Frozen, what is happening? Are we missing something? Shaman is Dragon back. Shaman. Dragon Shaman. It's got to be Mech Shaman, right? Something along those lines. Uh, I would definitely expect Mech Shaman from 6 0. Uh, very powerful deck and um, the deck that got a lot, of, a lot of exposure lately. But from Dog, well, I, I think we can expect anything actually. Midrange, Merlock Shaman, Dragon Shaman. I, I, have, I don't know, man. Dragon Shaman sounds bad. <laughs> what but about Goblin Shaman? Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Hmm? Let's get a Goblin Shaman with like Mad Bombers, Matter Bombers, Gadgets and Electioneer, and like whatever Goblins we can get. Well, there's not enough RNG in Shaman if you ask me. So yeah, it's all, I'm all for it. Matter Bomber, Mad Bomber, Gelb. Like, honestly, like or- if you push the RNG, like if there is enough RNG, if you push it beyond the border, you know, if you take it further beyond, maybe at some point you'll actually hit this sweet spot where you control everything. Just you will be in the zone with RNG, like everything will work. Uh, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but I, I'll take your word on this one, Nibs. You're a much more fortunate person than I am when it comes to RNG, at least when it comes to the top decking skills. We got Warrior versus Warlock to start things off. I already see a card that already pretty much tells me exactly what's going on here. Um, and then we have Warrior with Molten Giants. Yeah, what what, what, what? Am, what am I looking? What's this? So that's got to be Grim Patient Warrior, right? Grim Patient well, Warrior with Molten Giants. I'm looking at Battle Rage and Nomish Inventor. I can definitely say it is looking like um, Grim Patron, but Whirlwind also, but the Molten Giants. Maybe Sixo still thinks that Molten Giant is getting buffed by Warson Commander. You know, like in the at all times, Warson Commander actually buffed Molten Giants. Oh, yeah. That's so funny, man. Maybe it's like Literally every deck is coming out from the woodwork from the past where you play Warsong Commander Molten Giant. Now, of course, you're not going for the combo, but you're, it's just funny that that's, that combo existed at one point, and now it's a, in a different for, version here yeah. in 2015. Now, Dog's going for his own combo. Emperor Thorsten allows you to do some really funky stuff with combos that just seem like too much damage. Yeah, just uh, unearthing Arcane Leroy. Golem. Yeah, Arcane Golem, Power Overwhelming, Power Overwhelming faces is 10 mana. But imagine if it was 6 mana and you could do, like, Abusive Sergeant with it. Or you can sneak in... I, I don't know. Sometimes you can sneak in the second face of the manipulator. If you're, just trying to, if you're just trying to go for the pure highlight reel, you can do that. But uh, generally speaking, look how much damage already is in the hand if you can get it all off in one turn. He's got uh, 20 damage. Pretty the nuts. The only question is, is the deck 
too much dependent on Thorison. Because if he gets Thorison right now, or well, maybe in the next turn, but still, if he gets Thorison, quick, that would be amazing. Like, his hand is just totally crazy. But if he never sees Thorison with this hand, is, is this deck still good? I, I mean, it's okay. You, you, play, you play the control game pretty well. I, I brought this deck actually to Seed Story Cup. Um, and it, it, it just stunk because we thought it was really good against aggro, but it turned out aggro crushed this deck pretty effectively because, uh, you know, we weren't anticipating mech shamans, you know, and the lava burst just like really wrecked us. So, uh, that didn't work out really well, but generally speaking, it can go really well against control decks, um, that aren't necessarily warrior because warrior stacks a lot of health. However, this oh, is not, oh, he got Torison. Oh At yeah. Six. That changes everything, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Brother, how much mana is that? That's nine mana that he's just been given. That's insane. That's Next so much turn. better than Innervate. Next turn he has the combo. Wow. How he's much got, uh, He's got uh, the Arcane Golem, Faceless, Power Overwhelming for 16 damage. Eight, uh, 20 damage with the uh, Abusive Sergeant. If he picks up another Power of Whelming, that's 28 and that's game. I really hope we see that right now. Oh, oh my god! Wait, wait, is that lethal? That's, that's lethal! What? This is impossible. He's counting damage right now. Six, seven, He's like, he's counting one more time really closely, but that's a that's five great. card combo combo. What are we seeing here, Frodon? I can't believe this. This is turn 7, 28 points of damage. It's like, you should say well played. It's like Six is about to get banished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> it's, it's and just, he's not coming back. That is 28 damage in one turn. <laughs> Dog is just laughing. Holy <laughs> mother of God. That Tori Sun turn 6 into the power <laughs> of... <laughs> 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 Dog, please. Oh, oh, sweet lord. Oh, hey, I told you, man. This deck can do some really funny things. <laughs> he enabled Molten Giants. For a moment. That's right, man. Molten Giants are are, <laughs> are live, I guess. But uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess there's uh, there's no there's no opportunity for him to drop the Molten Giants against a deck like that. Cause it's just so combo-oriented. It's always going to keep you floating around the high teens. Look, I just feel like it's not necessarily a good matchup per se. Although I feel like the whirlwinds against the implosions and whatnot were pretty effective to draw cards. I'm I'm still kind of split. This these these decks are still so new that the matchups haven't been fully fleshed out yet. You just have you just have like theory crafting plus a little bit of experience of playing it in the past, and you just have to extrapolate. So it's really tough to like completely navigate those matchups at the moment. Yeah, That's part yeah, of why it's tough. Especially with our players bringing new ideas there, but imagine being six there, you're just sitting there, you're having fun, like you're, oh, I have my my interesting deck with Molten Giants, I have that whirlwind for Implosion, oh, I dealt with Taurus and everything is coming, everything is good, I'm at 27, and then there's turn 7 to die from Empty Board, how does it feel? I uh, it, it feels pretty good, man, if you're dog, it feels pretty terrible if you're six, so... Um... But yeah, I mean, if you if you love democracy and freedom, you you definitely just fist pumped right there. Absolutely. All right, so we are going to see game number two, Doug versus Six O. This will be the Shaman versus Shaman mirror match. So All right. Well, the mirror match is really. Oh, wait, well, actually. No, it's not a mirror match. It's the, sh yeah, it's the shaman, excuse me. Um, the shaman's really fascinating just because I don't know what shaman build is good. Looks like Sixo doesn't know either. He's playing Direwolf Alpha for crying out loud. What is going on? I have no clue. Well, if Direwolf Alpha, I will, I will be Oh, okay, okay. Over. So he has the th Emperor Thorson. So what he's doing is he's building every single combo deck possible around Emperor Thorson. There has to be a Wind Speaker or a Wind Fury in this deck, right? Uh, yeah, with shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I, I already get an idea of what kind of deck this is. Dog already is like, okay, bro. Now it's Sixo is like, now is my turn to one one shot you. Oh, there's Rampage. 
Man, this is so so fun. Okay, this is what I did the first week Emperor Thorson came out. I literally slapped him in every single combo deck I thought possible. I put him in, uh, uh, like, obviously Miracle Rogue. I put him in the, the combo Warlock, which I tried making in Seed Story Cup. Didn't really work out too well. I also tried putting it in, like, Inner Fire and uh, Divine Spirit Priest. Because, you know, I thought, like, you know, maybe the Inner Fire Spirit is, like, more viable now that it's cheaper with Emperor Thorson. And I just yeah. get some draws in. Nah, it wasn't that good either. But I, I tried putting it in Blessing of uh, Might and Faceless combos in Paladin. With it, it didn't really work out either. I might as well have just played like a super combo Warlock. Uh, the big limitation factor of anything that Emperor Thorson has taught me is that you're always limited by your draw. Your draw is like the big defining factor. And if you can't draw like consistently and well with it, uh, Emperor Thorsten sometimes only reduces things by like three or four mana total. Yeah, and even if that's two. the case, it's not high value. Yep, you just um, first you need to ensure that you actually draw into Thorsten, and then you have to ensure that you have enough cards in your hand. But then the Shaman deck looks good. Like there is a Thorsten, he will be able to play it next turn, and uh, he has that shade, that's uh, the Wind Fury shade. If Shade gets to 10, like, is there any way, actually, for Doc to clear that Shade in this kind of deck? I don't think so. Mm, I, I'm not sure, man. It's really hard to predict. These guys are just having a lot of theory at this point. Look how much damage he's going to do. He's got two Crackles and Lava Burst. And he's got the Dire Wolf Alpha. This is insane. Wait, that's 14 plus 4? That's, yeah. that's it. <laughs> that's <laughs> dead. This, these games are ending so fast, and, like, Dog's cracking up. Like he's having fun. I think Sixo's trying wow. to have fun. He's trying to squeeze out whatever uh, joy is in the veins of his, uh, w within his mind after grinding thousands of hours of Hearthstone. But it's there somewhere. These guys are having a blast. Look at that. Just wombo comboing every single game. Oh man, I'm having a blast as well. Like this is so much fun to watch. And um, you know, this combo's working actually. Like Shade of Next Ram is attacking for 14 and what turn? Was it turn seven? I, yeah. I don't know, man. Crackles, um, that was from 7 because he was loaded. Um, I was thinking Thorison, but then he had default. So, <laughs> yeah, this is really fun to watch. And um, so that that's Shaman for 6. So they think Doug is running the combo Shaman as well. <laughs> Maybe Malaga's Dex. Give me some dragons. Give Dude, some you dragons, see that one, dra uh, that one Malaga's deck with the arcane explosions and the arcane missiles? No, that's no, hilarious just... stuff, man. I love that. It was so much fun. There's a Paladin from Sixo. Please, I want to see Dragon Paladin with consorts. Um, yeah, uh, the Dragon Paladin would be really fun too, but I have a feeling that it's probably going to be just a combo Paladin, just based off how it's going, right? Why don't you just <laughs> try to make Blessed Champion work? Like Continuing you... the trend. <laughs> nah, you're probably right. It's Dragon Paladin. There's no way that it's combo. Oh, it is! He's got Faces Manipulator! And it's Triangle Thorn Tiger! What? All right, Frodan, what is it? There is Malik. Okay. Frodan, These guys have actually gone over the deep, it anymore. I'm just, just, the excitement is real. What are we watching? Okay, tell me about the Paladin deck, please. Like, how, how does it work? Dude, you're you're asking me the wrong questions, man. I I don't know. There's a strength. This looks like an arena hand. I seriously does. It's like <laughs> oh, you should toss away Stranglethorn Tiger. So maybe you pick up like, you know, your Mad Bomber or like Avenge. Like that's that's kind of like how you would mulligan in a in a normal matchup. These type of things, it, it just I have no clue. I just know that there probably is a charger in here. There's probably a, a yeah. There's probably a a blessing of might or two and there has to be like some just straight up card draw so i'm guessing that sixo has emperor thorson obviously to reduce combo but he might have that new sigil card draw thing do you know what i'm talking yeah, about yeah what's the, it called yeah but look at this curve like uh, even though this deck looks uh, a bit different like his curve is amazing with um the the sergeant into shield and Mebo. there is a far side Fatality told him, well, that wasn't the card he expected there. Some other big question is, if, is Dog running Lightning Storm? Or is it all combo-oriented? 
Uh, it has to have Lightning Storm. I mean, it, Ma Lightning Storm melee goes or hand He actually hand. got it. The thing is, he doesn't have last uh, or Ancestor's Call. Ancestor's Call would have been really useful so he can, like, Ancestor's Call, Lightning Storm, and then just completely destroy the board. There is a blessing right away. Yeah. Oh, there is a blessed champion. Okay, so. Yeah. I, I was kind of joking about it, but it I did try out this deck. I didn't try it with so many stealth minions, though. I tried it with a lot of pure charge minions and, uh, like, heavy duty guys, like, um, like, uh, Boulder Fist Ogre and stuff. I don't know why. I was just like, it was just really creative thought process of like what's going on in my mind. What's really funny is these Argent Protectors because <laughs> how do you actually deal with a minion if they have Argent Protector Divine Shields on them and they have double the uh, the attack? This is very funny how everything's yeah. panning out here. This deck actually looks good. Like, um, it looks super funny, but uh, it's, it's actually good. <laughs> Oh, you're saying it's good. Wow. Yeah. Old like, uh, <laughs> come on. It, look, it looks good. He has so much burst in hand. And now with Thorison, it might be game over, actually, next turn, right? It's like, how much damage is it? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. All right, so no game over yet, but it's really close. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, there's also 15, 23. 23 damage. Yeah. Just go for the trades. You don't have enough to Mally Ghost and uh, Lightning Storm. It's too bad. He needs to stall. I think Dog's, uh, he's gonna, he's struggling here. Well, if he gets, um, for four mana, get a minion from hand, how is it called? The revive, um, Ancestral Call? Yeah, that's true. Ancestral Call. Ooh, Hit Mally Ghost. Shot. Urshock, Hex, Lightning Storm. There it is. And there is uh, 12 damage incoming from, from 6 on next turn, so he will still be alive. I mean, Dog will be alive. Oh, gotcha. Looks like he's going to drop the Mana Tide instead so he can draw a card. Put some pressure onto the board. <laughs> nice. That's a powerful turn. He's Dog keeping the lightning slow. bolt for the Mally Ghost power plays. Yep. Let's see. Well, really interesting spot here because the Arcane Golem um, gives mana to Dog, and that's not what you want to do. How much damage will it, will it be with Mally Ghost? Mally Ghost is plus five, right? Uh, I believe. But he's overloaded for like four, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, Novice Engineer. Like so Novice Engineer Hex has to be the play here. Yeah. But unfortunately, I think that means death. Because mm. um, there's Arcane Golem, Blessed Champion. That's and 8 then, plus uh, 2, that's 10. That's 10. Yep, that would be it. Wow. He's like, no! <laughs> a Blessed Champion! This car is Oh, Oh, got it. I always got I got my Maligos there. Well played. Doug was actually winning next turn, right? With um, Crackle, Double Lightning, uh, lightning right. Bolt, Maligos. It's funny, man. I mean, Faceless, what it effectively does, like, doubles your power. So if you play Blessed Champion, it's kind of like a Faceless Manipulator anyways. Except uh, if you put on a Charge Minion, you immediately get the guarantee. Versus yeah. Faceless Manipulator, sometimes you have to drop it on, like, a Stealth Minion instead. Sixo was playing Faceless anyway. He was play, right, playing right. Faceless and Blessed Champion. So I like having one Faceless and one Blessed Champion. I think it's a really good split. Oh, man. I was, I'm just counting. <laughs> counting the reality is these decks are probably doing. really bad and inconsistent, but they're working, and that's fun. Yeah, yeah. They, they, well, they're definitely working today. And uh, Dog's Shaman was working as well. Like He had uh, 15 plus 6, 21, and uh, some damage from Crackle. So... I believe it was lethal anyway. Uh, well, if, if Sixo would not have lethal, then uh, Dog had lethal with um, the Crackle Lightning Bolt, Smaligos. Pretty crazy. I, I don't even know, man. This was just a really insane game. And the series is so fast-paced, but I, I really love it, man. It's, it's good stuff. These are, these are, hopefully these are jogging people's idea. 
to maybe play some ridiculous decks that they never really thought were possible until now. If you really love combo decks, when, you know, in reality, a lot of people love pulling off sweet ass card after card combos that just lethal their opponent, you should absolutely yeah. for it. Oh, you can definitely play them, especially if players like Sixo and Dog are bringing them to, uh, to this kind of tournament. Um, those are decks that are fun to play, and uh, maybe this is the time of combo decks. Maybe this is the time when we say goodbye to aggro decks, control, and like just bring yeah, the combos. That's a good one. Goodbye to aggro decks. Good stuff, Nibsh. Always the jokester. Uh, well, uh, looks like we got a pretty passive opening here from 6 0. Only Battle Rage is his main card draw. Would love to pick up loot hoarders and stuff. Uh, Dog has to win with this ancest uh, Ancestor's Call of Shaman. Or Farsight has to magically pick up Maligos and make it six mana. Can we do it? I want to see that. Well, not this turn, but next turn. Possibly. This is not. Oh, there was a Maligos, unfortunately, for him. Uh, he was one card. He should have coined Farsight. Yes. That he was the play. He should have coined Farsight. Okay, well, now. Farsight has to pick up like uh, another first or something that's really cheap to make it good. Or maybe Ancestor's Call. Ancestor's Call for one mana. Oh, Lightning Storm for zero is good. Uh, um, nine, turn nine. Is it though? What if you hit All the right, Grim Page? It's not amazing. <laughs> what if you hit the Grim Page for two and it just clones <laughs> itself? Well, if you get Maligos and then you play Lightning Storm, all the patrons are going to die anyway. Yeah. Touche. Good point. So. Oh, there's Torison for 6 0. That's huge. Uh, but yes. what do you do this turn? I just armor up pass. The thing about Feral Spirits and Novice Engineer, you're more than happy to let it stay on board because you have the Grim Patron coming down. Second I'm just looking at 6 0's hand, and he has everything he wants. Like, he has the double Whirlwind for 0, Warsong for 2, Patron for 4, Battle Rage for 1, Inner Rage for minus 1. All right, Inner was still... Wait, is it the third? Minus one. Yeah, so then Lotheb comes down. You, you can play for four. Sweet. Actually, I saw Double Whirlwind before he before he even got it. Gotcha. Good call, bro. All right, well... Man, this is, this is so funny. There's just so much damage and so much power in the Warrior's hand. Uh, and likewise... On Dog's end, he's got so much burn. He's got two two Lava Shocks, a Crackle. Lava uh, Burst. Lava Burst. So let's assume that all of these got plus five and hit the lowest, right? Yeah. So it'd be nine plus 10 plus uh, seven plus seven. So that's 33 damage. If you can Wait, get how it goes down and play it all. But is this is this the turn? Is this the turn? Is this the lethal? <laughs> no, it can't. It doesn't have enough mana. With, um... Interesting. Alright, well, here's something that's also interesting, is that, um... If you fill up the board too much, Lightning Storm actually does become good, because even if you hit low, then, you know, you... They don't spawn any more Grim Patrons. Oh man, he's going for it. He's going for double Whirlwinds. Maybe one more wins. I was thinking you can even inner rage the um, the frost spirits. I think I think he wants to battle rage though, doesn't he? He wants to like, yeah, basically hit all these things and draw like seven cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. And still no rope, so he has that's a lot of time. Full board, full board, boys. And then dogs are about to realize like, oh my god, my opponent just drew so many cards. Uh, let's see, he's got four minions damage. He's gonna draw five cards from a battle rage. Yeah, battle rage has to be the last action. He almost ran out of time! And then bot rage. Oh, he wanted to execute the totem. <laughs> Uh-oh. Did he actually do this? Nope. Nope. Roped. All right, dog. He's one mana. Oh, he drew the Thorson too late. If he had the opportunity to, can you imagine? He has a double lightning storm here, right? Uh, can you get the spell? If you get the spell damage totem, no, that's taunts. All right. Okay, you can so lightning, lightning storm, storm and then earth uh, lava shock. I mean, the nice thing is that it can't spawn any more 
Instagram patrons. Oh, we actually three, hit three. three. What? Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. All right, so now you just lava shocks the face so he can unlock his crystals for next turn. Not the ideal way to do it, but a way to do it for sure. All right, so execute is actually just reminding ourselves how cool art it has. Okay, wow, double throttling. So what's coming up next for Dog? Uh, you will not play Maligos, right? Because you can't do anything with it. So Thorson. Thorson, yeah. And then you have to, you have to like crackle one of these frothing berserkers, don't you? Maybe it's just Earthshock, because then it just deals two. Okay, so you can you can er crackle one and Earthshock the other, and then it will be overloaded for two. But you do have. Um, It'll be overloaded for one. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, from Crackle. And then, um... Yeah, and then what happens is uh, you gain uh, four mana, I guess, from the cards that are remaining in the hand. And you do have Lava Shock. Right. Okay. So you can get the, the mana back, right, from the Overload, yeah, so... So oh, next geez. turn you'll have 9 mana, you can basically play... Well, you will not be able to play Lava Burst, I believe. So you play Malikos next turn, you will have... Uh, no, actually, hmm, that's weird. Malikos is 10, uh, 8, plus 7, 15 damage, 25 damage? No, no, no it's like the problem is like you're overloaded for 1 now. So if you play Malikos, you won't be able to play Lava Shock. If you play Lava Shock, then you will not be able to get buff from Malikos. Oh, I see. Oh, this is a cute play. Look at that. Charge. <laughs> Just get a whirlwind execute and then uh, do some damage to the face here. Originally, Dog thought he might be able to keep the Thor Sun, but that was a really nice play here from Sixo. Yeah, also like putting uh, his opponent on four. Oh, man. So close to being able to lead those opponents. If he had one more mana, right? No, no, no. If he had two more mana. Two more mana. Two more mana yeah. should be should be a... Yeah, this is tough. He got the combo twice. Molly goes on the spells. He even kept okay. it in his opening hand, but was never able to pull it off. Torison came too late. One turn too late. So he has to Lava Shock now. Or, no, no, he can Lightning Bolt and then Lava Shock. I mean, okay, so he's just going to go for the play where maybe he can win. But uh, we know the end of the story. There's the Death Spite waiting. 6 0 is going to win the Series 3 1. And I guess he's going to be happy that Ghost of Gamer ranking points counts now because that was a really fun way to win. Yeah, that was definitely a fun way. Even though this deck was uh, the deck we know, the Green Patron. Uh, the previous. Oh, he's going to play double death spite. Well <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, that's actually funny. <laughs> Getting one more card from Acolyte. Yeah, dog can only oh, smile. Oh, sick! Here. Got execute. <laughs> wow, such top deck. So Magus is dead, and dog is coming down. Six zero. Advancing. Oh, just winning. Winning the match versus Dog, it always counts. It's good. He's happy. Fun stuff. Fun stuff all around, man. Well, uh, good good series to just demonstrate to you guys some of the creative thought processes that were going inside the head. Um, the thought for 6-0 was, I'm going to play Faceless and Grim Patient Warrior. If I ever get like a huge Frothing Berserker, I'll just drop it and uh, copy it while it gets charged. Or I can get the card charge, put it on my Molten Giant, like play fighting, uh, play war song for three, play molten giant for zero, play charge for for two or three, I forgot, and then uh, play faceless, and that's just like ridiculous combo damage as well. So fun stuff all around. You, of course, uh, you've seen the Maligo Shaman work in the past. Didn't get a chance to go off this time around, but props to these guys for at least uh, having a good entertaining time. It was oh man, I'm. 
I'm always saying that there is still a lot of room uh, for innovation in Hearthstone because people tend to just bring the standard decks. But here today, we've seen a lot of new decks, a lot of crazy, fun, creative ideas. And this is the Hearthstone I love. Um, this is the Hearthstone I, I like to cast as well. But you know, this is not over for today. We still have Trump versus Reynard coming up next. And I'm really excited for that match as well. Should be a good time. Well, hopefully we'll see... Uh, well, we'll see maybe some fun decks. I'm not sure what's coming out of either side's camp. At this point, anything goes. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to take a break, guys. We've gone through our series relatively quickly, so bear with us as we might take some time to set up our next match here. Coming up, it's match four, Trump versus Reynad. Stay tuned. <laughs> 